Well, we now have a follow up to that cockroach cockroach infestation in East Dayton. You may remember the disgusting images in a vacant home inside and out crawling with roaches. Neighbors fuming because the pests have invaded their home. So did the problem get fixed? Arnett Pegler went to find out. I came back out to this home on East 3rd Street to see if that roach problem had been corrected, and it's evident that the problem has gotten a little bit better, but neighbors say it's because of them. You may remember Teresa Hatton. She lived feet away from this home that was covered in cockroaches. Here's video of what it looked like before, but what about now? It's gotten better, but it seems like they're all coming in my yard now. I see anything crawling, I spray really fast. So Teresa and her neighbors took matters into their own hands. Last past two months, I spent about about two hundred dollars. That's including the bug man coming out. That's ninety dollars. Then about eighteen cans of raid. The city of Dayton did contact the owner of the property, Mary yeah, Benny, to remediate the issue. The owner did have a pest control company come out and do an initial spraying. And uh, that was done approximately September 9th. And the next two uh, follow up spraying should be done within 30 days of September 9th, or I should say, 130 days after that, and then the next 130 days after that. But Hatton is still furious because she's still seeing these creepy crawlers in her backyard. They're underneath my tarp, from my pool, yes. underneath my bench, they're inside my. Um, containers I put on my pool equipment in. Because the owner of the home is cooperating with the city, the only thing neighbors can do now is wait. I think my next step is go down to Senate Commission. In East Dayton, Annette Pegler, Fox 45 News. Now, Pal says ultimately the owner of the infested home, Mary Benny, must have it pest free by November 9th. If the roaches still persist at that point, then Benny will face a judge.